Welcome to the Glass Vault Podcast, where we laugh today and heal tomorrow. Some of y'all may ask, why are we laughing today and not healing? Well, I'm not a damn therapist. We just here to have much needed conversations in the community while having a good time. With that being said, we are now... Shit, I can't find a button. On air. What's up to the people here on air with me live for the second episode of the Glass Vault Podcast. First, I just want to give a shout out to all of the audio listeners. I don't care if you're at work, at church, in jail, or even at your baby dad house, even though you told us that you don't fuck with them no more in the group chat. You took the time out of your day to watch and or listen to me, and I genuinely appreciate it. The Glass Vault Podcast is available on many platforms such as Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and many more platforms that will be linked down below in the description box. Also, if you want to visually watch each episode, head over to YouTube and sub- subscribe. I'm going to do, do a lot of editing. editing. Subscribe to the Glass Vault Podcast. Snap a screenshot of you being subscribed and send it over to my DM at Demetrius Montreal. That is D-E-M-E-T-R-I-S-M-O-N-T-R-E-L-L-L-L. That's four L's for a shout out on the next episode. Thanks for... Thank y'all for tuning in and being... I'm going to cut that part out. Fuck that. <laughs> it is 2024, the first week of March, and third quarter is coming to an end. If you haven't already got up off your lazy excuse-making, bad habit, habit, habit having access, now is the perfect time to do so. And I'm really just talking to myself because I'm big on procrastination. Um, joining me on today's episode, I have Nia Green and her sister who lives here in Scam City, um, Atlanta, <laughs> uh, who up? just <laughs> who just sparked much conversation yeah, yeah. on the internet, causing a lot of people to talk in circles like they always fucking do. Mm-hmm. What's up, Nia? Thank you for coming to the podcast. I really appreciate appreciate y'all for coming in today. If y'all would like, y'all just tell the people a little about y'all self and where they can find you at. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I'm on Instagram at the real doll dot season. So the T H E real R E A L D O L L dot S Z N. Um, you can find me on Facebook as Nia Green mm-hmm. as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm relevant that side. Don't help me. <laughs> so I'm just talk a little right closer here. to the mic. <laughs> My Instagram is relevant that side. I'm a little shy. So y'all, um, Bitches that be in the comments. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> she going in. <laughs> she ain't wasting no, no time. Me. But we we had an icebreaker game. It was Uno. It was going to be called You Know the Vibes. But we're going to do it for another episode. I left the Uno cards at home. I done broke my fucking glasses. Oh. I didn't um, let my car roll thinking I had it in part because I was nervous for the first episode. Well, this is the first time recording, but this is not the first episode. I don't know. This might be a bonus episode on the insane week. Mm-hmm. But um, we didn't kind of had our icebreaker. We didn't took a couple, drunk some juice. Um, <laughs> so my first question for both of y'all um, was, where are you originally from? Like, born and raised. I'm from Chicago. Chicago. Over East 95th and Jeffrey. Same. No. <laughs> yeah, I am from. <laughs> pull, pull it, pull the mic up back a little bit, son, because you be leaning back, you be chilling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am from wherever you want me to be from. <laughs> Tell the people where you from. I just went, yeah, I am from Cobb County. Nowhere. Cobb County. No, don't do that. That's your Cobb hometown. Cobb County is nowhere, though. I mean, yeah, but, I mean, well, that's how you feel about it. But, Literally. Uh, the most when did y'all, well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't going to say nothing about that. I ain't going to say nothing. But when did, you, when did you move to Atlanta? Um, I moved to Atlanta 2022. Oh, so you just got here. You just got here about a year and a half ago, a couple years. Well, yeah. No, that's damn near two years. Yeah, almost. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just got here in October. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to adjust to shit. Yeah. It, it's, it's different. It's kind of fast. But I stayed out here about, when I think that was 2021. Well, 2022 that I moved out here. Mm-hmm. I was in my, I was living in my truck. I used to drive 18 wheels and mm-hmm. shit, but stressed me out. Um. I used to live in Savannah. Savannah? My, yeah, my mom had moved a lot there. Of, a lot of people out here in Atlanta came from Savannah. But see, I left Savannah, went home to Chicago for a few years, and then came to Atlanta. So you were born and raised in? Chicago, Illinois. Okay. And then 
I moved to Savannah from 2015 to 2018 and went back to Chicago. Okay, well, you were, you were born and raised in Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, how is Atlanta different from um, where you from, Chicago? Everything. Like, I love it here. I love Atlanta. Like, I, I don't know. I love it. <laughs> it makes me, like, in Chicago, I'm a mean bitch. Like, I can't, I don't know. Like, I'd be on 10, but when I'm here, I could be nice. I could be sweet. Like, these bitches are sweet here. I don't know if I, well, they is sweet here, some of them, but I, I stay on the west side, so I don't get too much of the mm. sweet people oh. but um it'll be my last time staying over there but i ain't gonna say too much but i'm still over there and i don't need nobody, <laughs> I don't need right. nobody running up on me because you will get some lead put in you mm. but um what was I, I i really haven't even been outside since i moved out here like have, have you been outside what's the night life like? um i have been to a few clubs i i really be in a house but Same. so far you know it's a big difference because like chicago Everybody don't go to clubs in Chicago. It's block parties, house parties, yeah. magic parties. So here it's like, it's a little different because you can step out your door in Chicago and it's a party. Yeah. Here you got to go get a section. You got to be in, you know, you want to Yeah, I, I ain't got time for all this shit. That damn section costs. I don't even know how much a section costs because okay. I don't. I haven't even been to a fucking club. Okay. Atlanta has to be taxing like, like 1200 The only section I've been in is the sectional in my house, the, the couch. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Being in Atlanta, have you came across any celebs? Um, let me think. I mean, I met Pretty V when I used yeah. to work at Saks. I want to meet her. She's she was very her. sweet. I her and Desi Banks. I actually love her outside of her. Um, I wouldn't say character, mm -hmm. but like her being funny because she she more of a, like a godly woman. But you can keep going. I just want to say that. Um. So yeah, just Pretty V and Desi, and then I did Shamar hair. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm not laughing at you doing this hair because that's what you actually do, and that's what you should have told the people when I told them to tell you about yourself because you was a, a oh, cop, you. I do hair, yes, yeah, I'm okay. a hairstylist. But um, I'm just laughing because Shamar don't like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Who do Shamar like? <laughs> My brother was on. Um, if y'all not subscribed to Now There's TV, subscribe now because um, Zodiac House is about to go down. Mm -hmm. But my brother was one of the um, cast members on Zodiac House. Yeah. And Shamar just don't like him. I mean, and Shamar too damn grown for that. My brother only like twenty one, yeah. and I would feel well. I ain't gonna even do that. Right. I ain't gonna do that. On <laughs> me and Sh Shamar don't even know me. Right. Um. Uh. Well, this next question kind of ties into the last one about celebs. I was I asked name a few celebs that um, you would like to work with or just even see. Um, a few celebs um, of Jada, of course, Jada. Jada, Wada. Wada. yes, I would <laughs> love to be like a brand ambassador for her. I love her her whole movement. Um, I mean, that's that's who I'm really on. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. Jada. I don't know. I, I have. No, <laughs> man, we just forgot about you all. Look, you on a podcast, no, yeah, so you better speak too. up. Because I'm I, when I ask these questions, I'm asking both of y'all until we get to the bullshit, yeah, which I know too. you gonna hop in when we get to yeah, the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what celebs would you like to meet or, or that you want to work with? What do you do? I do hair on the side a little okay. bit, but I be really bullshitting for real. Yeah, but. And them be the, the people, the people that be bullshitting on that shit. They be doing that. They do. They yeah, do good. Cause fucking. she real fire. That be the people that sleep on that shit. <laughs> yeah, I gotta you can keep going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I ain't. You know what? I want to see um, Bobby T. Fat. Did I say his name right? Yeah. And why? Why you want to see him? Because like, um, how you gonna work with him? <laughs> I don't want to work with him. I just want. Do know? he got hair? You could break it. No, I don't oh. want to break his hair. I want to go to the concert. That means uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> Who you want to work I don't with? Know, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Who you want to work with? None of them. <laughs> I don't know. None of I'm going to just be honest. I don't know none of these people. I'm a Neo Soul them, type of person. So. Mm -hmm. Concerts? Yeah. What's his name? Ba Baby T? Who? Baby T? <laughs> What's his name? YBT? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you what's, said Baby T. I want to no. go to his concert. That's the Deleon. Deleon kicking in. What's his song? YBT. What's the number song? <laughs> his number one song? Yeah. The, I think it's... <laughs> I don't know. What's his one woman's name? Number one song. But I like his song. Well, what's his most popular song? What song do well, you think I would know? Is he the one who... What is it? 50 Flow Hibachi? No. Oh, I was finna say oh. Tia Kemp got <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm about to say, that's Tia Kim. Man, that's Kim. that's Tia see. Kim song right there. There ain't no damn hibachi no more. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch had that plate in her hand. That bitch mouth was full chewing. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't care to work with any celebrities. Yeah. I, see, that's, I'm for the concert. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, and I understand you with that, because that shit do come with a lot, working mm-hmm. with them celebs. And sometimes, when, well, well, I can say it, fuck them. Whenever you are <laughs> uh, working with a celeb, sometimes you have to really, like, cater your whole life to them. And that shit, I feel like that shit ain't worth it. Right. But um, do you have any siblings? I see you have one right here. Your mm-hmm. sister. Do you have any more siblings other than her? Um, I have two. So my little brother is six, and then mm-hmm. I have a 14-year-old sister. I- yeah. Well, how many do I have? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, mama. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm oh just my playing. God. I got He's um I got family. four brothers. Four brothers, Juan Drake Jr. Um Juan Drake Jr. There's about about the oh yeah, that's that's yeah, them the only brothers I got. Okay. I'm the fourth brother. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and so. I got three sisters. I hope I ain't leaving nobody out. Yeah, it's Juan Drake. Crazy. We're going to skip that part. Uh, <laughs> it's so many uh, damn kids. Did your family see, like, the everything on social media? Like, did anybody see that? Like, mom, dad? Um, Well, cousin? I don't know if my mom did. She probably did. Yeah. I, don't, I don't talk to my mom, so I don't know. Okay. Um, but the people that is in my life, like my aunt, my I have god sisters that's, yeah. you know, 19. They watch this or whatnot. So, I mean, for one, when it first happened in January, January. It was the Damn. beginning. Yeah, they just now put out the video, but it happened in January. I called all my people anyway because, well, you know, I just, yeah. so they know because I called them. So they already know. I'm like, this is what happened. This had went down because you're going to see it on YouTube, whether if it mm. blew up or not, because this is what y'all into. So, I mean, yeah, my people know. Well, when I hit the blogs, my people won't know shit. It'll hit them just like that. <laughs> just like it hit everybody else. Okay. So, I'm going to just tell y'all right now, if you my family and you watching this podcast, this is not a podcast for y'all to watch. I'm not telling y'all to get off, but get the fuck off. Oh. Okay? <laughs> um, don't call my phone, text my phone, telling me about something I said, did, nothing. If I said you did it, you did it because I ain't got shit to lie about. Amen. We're going to address the elephant in the room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to address the that. Okay, so... You recently just did a 20 versus one with a famous rapper here in Atlanta. Do he stay here in Atlanta? Yeah, it was a 50 versus one. 50. Yeah. Damn, that's a lot of girls. Uh-huh. 50 versus, that's how many they be having on the side anyway. Mm-hmm. You catch that shit. Uh, you recently just did a 50 versus one with the famous rapper here in Atlanta, and you asked a question that had a few people talking on social media, but the rapper's response is mainly what people kind of like responded to. Mm-hmm. Uh, first off, how do like the the twenty or the fifty versus ones? How do that like do y'all audition? Do they just call y'all or? So what you would do because you know once you watch it you'll figure out yeah who is the creator of this. Once you go on their page, like how how I even did it was I watched his YouTube, which is am I able to say the name? Yeah, you can say oh, name. I don't um, give a fuck. No love, Mar. <laughs> so you know he he got a big stream or whatnot. So I saw that. Um, on his Instagram, he tagged the casting page. So only thing you have to do is like every day when they have celebrities, because they have celebrities almost every day. Yeah. So they are posted day of as, oh, we we have so and so here, twenty mm-hmm. versus um, send name, email, and picture and Instagram. Yeah. Once you email them that, they'll text you and be like, okay, this the address. and you So they had it. already picked you. So at the end of the day, it don't fucking matter. You yeah. was already picked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, what was my next question? Um, I know a lot of females, They, you know females talk when they around each other. Yeah. Um, do any of them come in actually thinking they're going to get picked or try to like pick the nigga or do they just come in and do it for content or just like to have fun? I mean, it's really the cast. The only thing, if they feel like, okay, because you send in a picture to them in an the email. So they're yeah. either going to send you like, you know, confirmation to come or not. So it really, they have anybody there. You just got to, I guess, whatever skill that, or requirements they have. You gave me, I'm going to ask this nigga some wild to see his reaction type vibe. But it did come off as, hey, fuck me, but ain't that what the <laughs> niggas do? Yeah. That's what the niggas do. Mm. So um, <laughs> what was your thoughts when you first seen the video for the first time once it aired? And what kind, was it, was it kind of like cringy or you already knew, you already knew how you was going to feel? When the video first came out, mind you, 
it came out at the end of February. Yeah. And we did it at the beginning of January. So I was thinking that it was going to drop any day after that. So I was already... It's not that it's so cringy. It's more that, like, at the moment, I knew what yeah. I said wasn't okay. So it's not like I'm defending it, the situation. Well, and I'm not going to defend that. But, I mean, I, I would say... Of course, it w- it wasn't okay, but how many times a nigga come up to a female and ask them something in that that same substance? They want to feel on your ass, or in most of the 20 versus ones, or the 50, 60, whatever versus one, they tell the bitches, turn around, let me feel your ass, shit like that. But when a female come up to you and ask you, you going to fuck me a missionary or backshot, <laughs> like, nigga, don't nobody mm-hmm. want a relationship with you in the first fucking place. Mm-hmm. I just want to fuck. Mm-hmm. But I mean... I mean, you know the world is double standard. So yeah. what men can do, females can't do, mm. vice versa. So just because a man could do it, I don't feel like I'm able to do it. You know, I'm not going to use that as an excuse. But yeah. when it just came out, it was more the commenters. Like, I'm not... It, like, I already didn't deal with the... Because I was embarrassed at the... Like, when it happened, I was shocked with myself. Because yeah. I don't go out was and you drunk? Just, I was high. Oh. I wasn't drunk. Okay. But, you know, and I was scared too. And I'm a, okay. like... So that's probably well. I, I don't mean to cut you off, but mm-hmm. when you scared, that's what it was. It was it, no, you. You really just you. For said, one, you say what come come to your mind mm-hmm. first, and you just don't know what the fuck it's saying. I don't like, know. <laughs> yeah, like okay, I, are you gonna fuck me? <laughs> well, most of the people because I really want to fuck shit. you. Just fuck me, okay? So, <laughs> I mean, I don't want a relationship. Just just let's but, fuck. No, but, but not even that. Like. That's not the message I'm trying to give off. Even oh, if I was, yeah. if, even if I did want to fuck him, like it would have been some like, <laughs> I'm going to stay at the words and we going to have a conversation. And I'm going to say, let's go to the hotel if that's what I wanted. Yeah. So it was like, you know, I knew I was going to have to, for one, it was no type yeah. of organization. It was yeah. none of that. So it was like females who, some girls was getting scared. So they hopping out of line. So that's pushing mm-hmm. me up. So it's like my question, I had a good question because I already have a hundred K followers like on my social media yeah. account. And so I didn't need the, you know, this situation happened to boost me up. I still get paid for my, what yeah, I do. So it was, I need to get paid. Yes. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I done bought me a car off one of my payments, honey. So, Ooh, yeah, so shit, I didn't I'm need. I'm tired of that Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I didn't like need that to boost me up. It was just like, it was a shocker for me. Like, bitch, what would you just say? And why did you just say it? Never did I think that. He was going to say, yeah, get her information and we going to check it out. And no, I never thought that from the get go. So it was just like, it was a shocker. It really was. And for the bitches that be like, oh, so you were scared and that's what you said? Because I went and said that, <clears throat> okay, if you can control what you say when you scared, then that's good for you. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. So it was like <laughs> a few females before me and then it was just, oh, he hand me the mic. So I'd have forgot what the fuck I said. And I'm just going so to So you tell. basically was just put on a well, yeah. put on a spot, but you was there, but you still right. put on the spot. And they was like, you know, y'all be on boring. Y'all need to ask something. Y'all need because it was a little dry in there with the little interview or whatnot. Okay. Where was we? When you were we talking about You was put on the spot. Yeah. Okay. And how I went. Uh what was your initial thought process in the moment? Cause when the camera panned to your face, it was kinda like like when he when he said what he said, it was kind of like the fuck. Mm-hmm. Like so, what what would you think? Because me, when I make that face, I'm I'm saying the fuck. Like what the fuck? It was an immediate like I wanted to run. That's oh, all it so was. That like, moment you knew you I, fucked up. Yeah, like I knew immediately <laughs> when I said the last letter of the word, it was just like, bitch, run. But I couldn't because the camera. So I was just like, okay. See, I still would have ran. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck that camera. So I smelled and kept it cute because I know they're not going to edit it where, you know, that was good content. No, they was going to definitely put that. If they didn't put put nothing out, they would have put that little clip out on TikTok. Okay. So when that happened, it was more like a bitch, you just tweet out. Get out of here. Get out of here. So do, do, do you think that his reply was a little too much or? I don't feel like I'm that soft. Like it's more yeah. the internet and what they're saying that's yeah. like doing a little bit too much. But I felt like it was aggressive and it was like this man have a girlfriend. So of course he gonna, you know. So it was just really for content. Okay. That's what it was. Like I didn't really feel hurt by what he said. It was like a little embarrassing because like the people in the back with the cast, of course they laughed. Yeah, like, ooh. Yeah. And I would have turned around and said, bitch. Like, <laughs> excuse me. See, I can't control myself under like when I'm embarrassed. 
please don't be around laughing because yeah. you next. <laughs> and I was there like alone. So it was like I felt like I was in a room, a real big room, and I yeah. was just the smallest. So it was just uh, a little, yeah, I just had to go after that. And it was just, yeah. Oh, you left right after that? After, when I gave him that mic, goodbye. <laughs> I walked out that door. Uh, what what shows all the X on? Aries, my B day is March 22nd. Mm, you crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I did like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why that first that question came to your mind. Y'all motherfuckers like the fuck. Well, y'all yeah. like the fuck more than me. I'm a Scorpio. Nobody fuck. Oh, I love Scorpio. Okay, well that's probably why I'm like vibe Scorpio's right now. Too. Mom, I'm a Scorpio. My mama Scorpio too. <laughs> Scorpio and the Leo in the same house. Oh, I can't even deal. Try with Scorpio and uh, uh, Aquarius. Right. That's that's <laughs> I don't like death Aquarius. row. How do you feel about the situation? You ain't said shit. I feel like for when the bitch called me. The first day it <laughs> happened, I called her. I even told I her. Call when she too. called me, and I'm like, bitch, it's not even that bad. Food, food, food. Even when I seen the video, I'm like, it's not even that bad. It's still not even that bad. It's just the motherfuckers in the comments overdoing yeah. it. Like this it, is, it was it wasn't that bad. This I'm is not shit gonna lie. they would have said like We done heard worse. Yeah. And that's the thing, like the same I feel like it's the internet, you know. The same bitches that's telling me like they they down my neck is the same hoes that's playing Suki that's sitting here. Yeah, like I you know, it's, it's the that. same hoes that's ooh, doing they doing that shit behind the back. They just like, suck like, like, three six, three dicks in less than thirty dicks. seconds. Okay, <laughs> exactly. Stand like uh uh-uh. uh, exactly. I was gonna ask something. I was gonna ask something, but I forgot. Mm-hmm. It wasn't on here though. Um. Okay, so I saw a video on TikTok referencing to his reply making you cry. Is that true? That he made me cry. Yeah, because you said you walked out. So how the fuck they would go? How the fuck they see you cry? Oh hell no, I definitely didn't cry. Oh, I often say you. No, I'm. I ain't that soft. This now. shit is not that. <laughs> this shit. Like, 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 I, I ran out. He ran out. He, no, one like, of his shoes flew out. And then even when it happened, like I didn't just directly hand the mic back and walked out. Like I stood there for a good probably like twenty five seconds, thirty seconds, and then I walked out to my car and I just burned my wood up. That was all. I ain't cried up. And got the fuck on. Mm-mm. See, me personally, I really don't like the idea of like the 20 versus ones and the, the smash or pass type of content because I feel like it's kind of like, excuse me, it's kind of like, it's kind of degrading to me. But that's just me and my personal opinion because I just feel like how are you or how are we because we all doing it. Mm-hmm. How are we allowing someone to dictate whether we are 10 or not? When right. you, you didn't already got picked, you, they didn't call you back. How are both men and women Standing in line to get judged by people who who don't even meet their standard. Because I'm pretty sure it's a lot of, a lot of the motherfuckers that's like the one of the 20 versus one. They don't meet half of the people's standards that's in there. They don't. They can't even qualify to be about 19 of them bitches nigga mm. or bitch. And <laughs> the one nigga that they do qualify for is broke and need money. So, But see, all episodes are not mainly about like rating. Yeah. So it's not like every 20 versus or 50 versus however way it go. It's about... If I picked you or not, because when I went on there, he didn't have to rate us. He just we just introduced yeah. ourselves. No, I'm I'm saying like the the you seen the balloon popping challenge. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Them, yeah, them yeah, the main that, that ones as crazy. well too. But yeah, I never because uh-uh. you just sitting here. You told this man. <laughs> she told this man. I don't even like the way you even have a conversation on day to day, bitch. What? <laughs> no, like I wouldn't even went on no balloon popping shit. It was more like it's Nardo. We gonna have a con- like I'm gonna say who I am. I'm gonna yeah, ask him about I can, what I, I want. Yeah, that's, I can do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, well, a lot of these things are really glorified and made normal in our community. But I just feel like, like, what about like the kids that's watching us? Because you know, it's a lot of kids on YouTube, badass kids get their ass whooped for being on YouTube, get back on YouTube <laughs> mm-hmm. late at night, don't know how to get a new phone, but they got a new phone from their friend at school. Um, I feel like we are like us Gen Z, y'all part of Gen, Gen Z, yeah. I believe so. I'm a two thousand baby. When, okay, you Gen Z, you Gen Z. Mm-hmm. We are we really like a part of Gen Z, and we kind of like the the next people that like the young people are looking up to. Mm-hmm. And I, if I think it, me thinking back, I when I look up to somebody, the people that I did look up to, mm-hmm. I don't really have nobody that really showed me the right shit to do. I just have people that showed me what not to do, right. which still don't show you what the right thing to do. But they, I yeah. get the get the motherfucking kids out the house and and get them off the phones, right. <laughs> Take them to the motherfucking park. Exactly. Because I ain't gonna lie, when I was a kid, I was on 
a lot of shit. I was hunching under the tree houses what? at school. <laughs> Ooh, he, oh my god, I was actually being a kid, like playing in the mud. I remember that shit. That was the them was the best days. And my mom and them try to tell us all the time we had the best days, bitch. Y'all only had two stores. Oh, <laughs> they had the whole days. They trying to talk about us. They that, had them whole days. Man, what, without I, the social see, media. I was gonna talk about that on this podcast on this episode, mm-hmm. but it was getting it was getting too long. But you know they. They did the same shit that we did. Probably worse. All of them are hoes. Everybody in my family. Getting pimped out. <laughs> I ain't going to talk about my family like that, but my I ain't been to a wedding in about yeah. 21 years. <laughs> yeah. Ain't none of them bitches married. None of them. But they got shit. They, they got, they got, what it is? What's the word I'm trying to? That daily young getting to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm done, I'm done with the cup. It's a two. No, I didn't. I got a whole cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I got a whole cup over here. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. We talked about Gen Z. Um, some things that we could do for Gen, not Gen Z, for the next Gen. What is, I think they call Generation Alpha. Them motherfuckers is some alphas. Them yeah. motherfuckers coming out talking. Mm-hmm. Um, some things that we can really do to help them. Because I'm tired of seeing them on like phones and shit. Because I have a niece and a sister. Mm-hmm. I don't really too, well, my my niece was on the phone. My sister be taking her out and shit on dates and shit. But mm-hmm. What are some things that y'all feel like we could do to help them? Like, I mean, I feel like this with us. Because they like, dumb. They, well, w- not all of them, <laughs> because I feel like that next generation might save the few generations that went down. Like, But they, they said they said that about us and we fucking know. But no, we never. Because our down. generation, I feel like, okay, I'm about to be 24. Okay. I come from, I feel like the generation with fathers not you know absent fathers mm, like this yeah. generation now i know a lot of men taking care of their kids now nah, i ain't gonna lie about that i, I, I see a lot of people yes, taking care like, of their kids in our generation these men not playing about that and i feel like we we doing more communicating now like we we yeah. normalizing therapy we do you know it's a lot of stuff that we all went through as a color we're like like how black moms and like we've been mm-hmm. just tough love so it's like me now I try to show more affection. I try to show more love to my siblings. I try to let it be known. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's okay to be soft because growing Ooh, up. That's hard. Yeah, it's like growing up, I just began tough love. Like, tough love. Like, but I get tough love, but damn, what a soft love. <laughs> man, that's, that's so hard growing up because me, me and my siblings, we are kind of like, it's like as the years go by, we get closer and closer. Mm-hmm. Me and my brother, the one I told you about that's doing the show on this TV, mm-hmm. We used to fight every single day. The whole family thought we was going to kill each other. They were scared to leave us at the house by ourselves. But now we're just getting close and close. And now it's, it's kind of feeling a little weird. Because mm-hmm. it's like sometimes when we get out the phone, I be waiting on him to say, I love you. But he don't say it. Or I be wanting to say it. And I don't say it because we didn't grow up on. We didn't grow Like my mama told us she loved us all the time. Mm-hmm. The family told us they loved us. But it was still like tough love. Yeah. So that that, that is kind of hard. And de- But my nieces, they make me a little soft. My niece mm-hmm. and my baby sister, which I miss so much. That little yeah. motherfucker bad as fuck. <laughs> but like I tell my friends, I love them. Like I'm not used to doing that growing up. Because yeah. like my grandmother <laughs> was more like my mother. So I'd be so, able, like it'll flow out my mouth so fast telling my grandma I love her. But yeah. with my mama, it's like I do love you. And you've been there. It's just like. I feel like I got to be tough around you. I feel like I yeah. can't even be soft around you. If you so. be soft, she going to be like this soft ass shit. You know, you it's just, so fucking soft. It just don't feel right. I don't know yeah. what the response would be. It just don't feel right. It's the energy you have to bring. But now it's like my friends, we hug each other. We tell you we love each other. And that's that's how it is. See, I don't know about that. I, don't, I ain't hugging my fucking friend. Well, I hug my friend. We but talk shit. And I, we I love hug. to talk shit. I love to talk shit. Yeah. I call you a bitch in a minute. And we gonna hug right after that. <laughs> no, that's we ain't. Bitch. No, we yeah. ain't. <laughs> <laughs> we could, if you hug me, then I'll hug you. But I, don't, I I can't really see myself coming up to people and hugging them. You're gonna need that and maybe, friend. I would say I would say maybe I will meet somebody or maybe I'll change, but. Now I'm kind of like at, at a point in my life where I'm trying to unlearn a lot of things. And I know mm-hmm. it'd be taking a while. So it ain't going to be no next year. I didn't unlearn every damn thing. I probably die unlearning shit, which we <laughs> all do. Mm-hmm. But I mean. It's going to come whenever. It's it's just not your time right now. But yeah. it's going to come. You might just need that person that's going to make you feel good. I don't know. Because my friends, we talk a lot of shit. But we can we tell talk each about other. Everything. See, I really, yeah. me, I don't even talk to my friends. Like, that's the thing. Well, I only have like a handful of friends that I don't talk to. Mm-hmm. But well, I that I have friends, but I I don't talk to you because of me. Mm-hmm. I don't know That's what the real, fuck it is. I just don't. I don't. I don't like talking. I don't like texting. 
I don't like talking on the phone. Now, mm-hmm. when I was driving my 18 wheeler, I'd be on the phone yeah. with a few of my friends, and then I'd tell them the bank or my mom or somebody calling me. Nobody called me. I just want to get off the phone. But I'd still be on the phone with them. But now it's just like, now that I'm off the truck, I don't want to even talk to them. I don't want to go out. I don't mm-hmm. like to. And I feel like I'm getting too old to not be out because I have really, really, really bad social anxiety. If I didn't drink that Deleon, I we will probably still be on the first question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, so mean, I feel like I, I think yeah. I'm a, I think I'm going to look into therapy even though I ain't against it, right. but in my head, how the fuck are you going to tell me what the fuck is wrong with me when I yeah. know what's wrong with me? But right. it, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm just right. saying that. But I'm still going to look into it when I get the money. Cause I, That's I, how I feel. I feel like I know I need therapy, but yeah. I can't do the the little therapy that they trying to do on the phone since the COVID <laughs> situation. Like, I need to be on your couch. I need you to have your notepad. Exactly. Yeah, and I, need right. to, I need somebody black. I don't need nobody white telling me okay. nothing because you, you don't even understand. Yeah, you, don't you don't understand, understand the all. fucking roots, You bitch. don't understand what I mean. <laughs> you don't understand yeah. the roots. You don't even get don't it. I don't understand nothing, nothing at all. As much as I can say All she do, do is see shit on social media. You don't, you don't, you. you right. You really don't know what the fuck going on. And social media is really ruining a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Social media really, social media is ruining ruining our school system, Mm -hmm. the church, which I ain't going to say too much about church. Not right now, not on this episode. I'm going to get into that shit. Yeah. Uh, Relationships, self-value, job market, social media. I mean, not social media, but social skills. Mm -hmm. Um, It even caused a rise in teen gun violence and shit and like um, suicide. Yeah. Um. And I feel like if we continue to feed into like the social media shit, which which is so hard not to, because this shit is paying the us. The world is evolving. This where shit is paying everything us. Everything is on the internet. Like everything this is on the is internet. Paying us. This shit is paying us. How the fuck is we gonna leave this the shit fuck? behind? That's how the white man got out of okay. money. Literally. But this next segment is called the Black Spotlight, where um we highlight three well deserved members of the black community on each episode. And um, the three that I'm highlighting today is going to be K. Michelle, Russell Wilson, and Nicki Minaj, which Nicki Minaj is on her Pink Friday Two World Tour and just opened a tour in Oakland with a sold-out arena. Yeah. The stage, no budget. <laughs> the venue, <laughs> no budget. The choreography, 10 minus 2. She, well, I ain't really see the whole thing because she really going to be mad if the people is stream live streaming her shit because she don't want that. But um, the stage presence, she she got a lot of stage presence. I see a lot of people on social media talking about her bad. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like a lot of people don't know the pressure that these famous people or these big people that they, what am I trying to say? Famous people, fuck it, mm-hmm. have on them when they even post a picture. So I feel like people should really just be mindful of what they say. Yeah. Um, but anyways, Nicki Minaj has held the bar. Not held the bar. <laughs> <laughs> It's this Nicki Minaj has has held the rap industry down for 20 years and she had yet fell off, which I don't think she would ever fall off. Um, congratulations on Nika, wishing you a safe and successful sold out tour. Hashtag Gag City. Okay. Um Okay, so we're gonna talk about Russell Wilson because um I don't I never really had like a I never had like a step dad. Mm-hmm. Well, I ain't I ain't go I never had a stepdaddy. My mama had like dudes that she dealt with. But we was big on not calling people stepdad and stepmom. Yeah. We just had a daddy and we had a motherfucking mama. My daddy had a girlfriend. My mama had a girlfriend. Yeah. That was that. But Russell Wilson opened up about raising the children with his wife. He states that he took baby future in as his own at only nine months and treating him as his own child. I'm, this, <laughs> <laughs> Billy, I'm fucking you up so bad. You're I got to take another shot. <laughs> I got to take another shot. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And I'm doing it with no chaser. Oh. Strong. Strong. I got ice in it though. It's melting a little bit, so it's simmering down a little bit. Uh, you good. You um, good. Okay. <laughs> I'm just yeah, because she chilling. over there quiet. Right? I'm just chilling. Chilling. I'm chilling. I'm just support. Like when it's Okay, okay. So you just butt in when you butt in. Yeah. Okay. I'm um, just chilling. Making huge commitment com- I said commitment. Making huge commitments like that and standing on it takes a man, a real man. A lot of y'all motherfuckers don't know what the fuck that is. Y'all just Lying to y'all self, and I need y'all <laughs> to stop because y'all not no fucking real man. Y'all may be real bitches, but real okay. bitches. Damn, Big. I'm gonna have to do a lot of bleeping oh. out on this shit. Oh well. Real um, bitches. Our black community yeah. has nothing but respect <laughs> for you, and hope for you to continue to show men and women um, what a real man is. Now we are gonna get into K. Michelle. 
I said that like we finna be messy. Oh, wait, 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 I'm in my space of peace because I'm finally doing the things I'm supposed to do. Stop telling me what I should. Oh, shit. Ooh. Stop. Te- I ain't read over this a little bit. <laughs> she said, stop telling me what I should be doing, where I should be. Stop telling me what I should be doing and where I should be because it seems to me God has me right where I belong, y'all. She also says that in the next two weeks, her musical decision will be finalized and she'll be taking us back to her southern roots, back home in Tennessee, down a two lane road to a lifestyle of an outlaw with true receipts. So, country girl, I, mm-hmm. damn. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, K. Michelle. I'm waiting um, yeah. as patient as I can, but home girl, drop the damn music. <laughs> um, I love her. I love her. I well, do I want to get into that? No, we ain't gonna get into that right now. Okay. Um, I love shit, that. you oh, was whatever. ready. Fuck it. That's what I'm saying. Um, whatever. The, 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 the K Michelle and Beyonce shit. Um, Beyonce dropped a, um, she dropped two singles, country singles, mm-hmm. and I feel like Beyonce really, she really opening up the doors for a lot of the country singers, a lot of the well, black country singles because. They weren't really getting no light. And I forgot, I don't know the dude's name. I wish I had it so I could put it up. But he he just now starting to get like, I ain't going to say mainstream, not yet. But um, people starting to notice him now. And I, I know for a fact that none of this shit was, people weren't noticing them before Beyonce. But we're not going to get too deep into that. <laughs> um, the next segment, now this segment is messy. Um, the next segment is called Allegedly Brutal, where everything that said and will for e- forever be allegedly, possibly brutal, depending on how sensitive y'all are. So if you are sensitive, get the f*** out of this podcast. Now, right I probably now. took get it. Out. Exit. Or right you can now. stay in, because I, I, I got smoke if you want it. Um, <laughs> Here we Jesse Smoothie completes five months of rehab. So allegedly, he lied. Allegedly. He lied because I ain't got time for no lawsuit. I don't have no money. Allegedly. I don't have no money. I drive a Ford Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> I drive a Ford. Okay. So allegedly he lied about being a victim of a hate crime in 2019. And he was charged with a felony. He hired two men to fake an attack on him, which that's dumb as fuck. Yeah. He why deserves you, everything. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Why would you hire two men to come whoop your ass? Like in the middle of that, I'm gonna get serious. You are like popping. Yeah, like you you hit me a little too hard. Fuck hard, you hit. He was just (laughs) that was just crazy. Like the whole world love you from Empire already. Literally. So now and he was went, gay on TV. You know, they, not that many gay people was on TV, or not that many gay people was mainstream. You just sat there and fucked it up, right? And then you, I feel you like, like you if coming you gay out on TV, bitch, you're gay. But like, no, like it ain't even that. No, like, he gay in real life. I don't yeah. give a fuck what he said. Oh, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I feel allegedly. like you know the whole world loved him, and I think I don't know what went through his head. It was like I don't know if it was something greedy, but it was just like <laughs> what what like what would he have gotten out of that? He wanted. I guess more attention, more I don't know what it was because But he was on t- You know the that's what I'm saying. He had to been just more greedy. Like what do you what else but do that, you that's want? That's what that greedy shit gets you. What do you want? Cause now it backfired on you and now you in jail and they really saving your ass because they're getting you out of there when you really need to be sitting in there. Well, now he's opening up about being done with rehab, which I don't understand. Why would you have to go to rehab for lying? He's sick for lying. <laughs> He, he he should be still in like rehab. He need to still lying. be in there because <laughs> nobody asked you. That's just like somebody coming. To, you ever had somebody that come to you and just lie to you? Like you didn't even ask. They just come and lie. Like who and told I lie you? <laughs> who told you? To, <laughs> I lie right back. If I know you lying, I'm gonna lie right back. Like, We're gonna yeah, make it a fairy tale. Yeah. Fuck like, it. We love it here. <laughs> so it was just definitely. like he definitely deserved all of that. I don't. I, that's not cute. Well, all I gotta say is since he. You know, he he's good and in his right mind. Send his ass to Tubi. The end. That's it. <laughs> um, and stay on there. <laughs> the Breakfast Club versus Risa Tisa. Now, the Risa Tisa story, I ain't really too much watch it because I don't like all that talking and shit. Yeah. 
I, honestly, I didn't even go to her page to watch it. I watched somebody react to her shit. You ever heard of something on TikTok with a 50? She had like 50, 50 episodes about, I guess it's called Who Did I Marry? Who or, Did She Marry? It was some crazy thing. No, and I was just about to ask y'all, like, what the fuck? I, I didn't even watch one, <laughs> one of it. Well, I can't say basically because I didn't even watch the whole thing. I got sick of the shit. I didn't watch it. I got sick nothing. of the shit. Now, was, her, was that man, what's his name? Legion? 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 I don't know. I didn't watch it. That motherfucker was wrong. That motherfucker said he worked behind, what's that building called? The NCR? What? Out here? He I said the building was out there, but... um. Charlemagne, Jess Hilarious, and DJ Emmy all, I say Emmy, Envy, mm-hmm. all made fun of Risa Wade con- calling she her a uh, big she bat. Heavy, she heavy set. Oh, okay. They so, call her a big bat. Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne, okay. that's got this big platform talking about another black woman and calling her big bat because she out here bringing aware to what she had going on. And talking her about a black woman. Wait, but wasn't just the same one she was going she got into it with T S Madison about um she was arguing with T S Madison um behind respecting a woman's body, then she turned around and But see, when I watched the vi- the little video, it was on one of the blogs. And I didn't hear Jess Hilarious really say too much because she said she she did refer her to Sheila off of why did I get married? And that but, was fucked up. But she did it. She said it like her weight size. She said not the face. The face is pretty. It was more Charlemagne. Like Charlemagne, you you really on your deathbed. Why is your bald head ass up here <laughs> even talking about this lady like this? Like you ain't missing a few patches in your fucking head anyway. Yeah. I don't understand patches. it. Charlemagne got patches. I thought he was all bald head. That Milk shit look. That shit look a mess. <laughs> that shit look a mess. He's talking about milk. <laughs> like, I don't, I really don't well, understand. Well, I'm sure mirrors don't exist in his fucking world. Um, he then say she wanted to believe everything he said and because she wanted a man so bad. But word on the curve is allegedly you wanted a man just as bad. But heavy said women already have it hard. They already not confident in themselves. So why would you go on there as, you know, you on the radio. So there's other people that actually loved you at first. Yeah. But you got these same big women that's listening to you. That's, oh, yeah. the Charlotte Man show. You got to cater to all of you your, know, your, all everybody. women, especially <laughs> black women. What's well, he going should, on? he wouldn't even be, allegedly, he shouldn't even be catering to women anyways because he want to cater to a man. That's, that's what how, I heard. That's what I feel like. That's allegedly. all it be. That's all it be. Mm, all them niggas be gay. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm into the protecting each other. Like I'm, I'm with protecting all women because I'm here for all women. But my black women, it's like it hit a little harder. I, I went there. Well, Charlemagne, <sighs> unlock that closet door. Anyways, um, since just been on the show, it ain't been it been nothing but mess. It been nothing but just fucking with the drama. Mess. Oh, what that's her fucking name? Yes. You do your shit then. Just yes, fuck it. Just with the they hired her. Fuck and it. They, they know she's she pregnant. Going. Congratulations. But honestly, she she yeah. Congratulations to her. Um, you is in that, on that starting shit, but they hired you. They knew your name. <laughs> um, I would really love to see more of like the opposite though than drama. Right. Like, that's why I put that segment in my podcast about like the mm-hmm. um, giving people flowers because I don't see too many people doing that shit. They love to talk about I'm proud the of bad her. shit, bad shit, bad shit. But yeah, I was in good shit too. I like the mess though. So keep it up, Jess. Yes. I mean, you still gonna be on the podcast. I'm still gonna talk about you, but still. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. So back to the guests. Um, I have a few more questions before we end the episode. But before I ask my last questions, is there any questions y'all want to ask me right now? <clears throat> no. I no. Wouldn't. Well, uh-huh. this is a question that we'll never be able to solve, but the internet is so fucking messy. Like, Lord. Who gets There's a lot of people on there that's not even, they, they, they don't, don't, have, don't a have a job. They don't and don't then have most of the people that be behind the comments, bald headed as shit. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Well, I can't talk too much about that. I get enhancements, so I have like a patch on both no, sides. No, you so. look good. But I, the way is you. swimming, though. Period. On, on up top and on back, not on the edges. No, right? they they swimming. <laughs> Thank y'all though. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not even if y'all can tell. I'm not really. I don't take compliments well. I don't know why. Well, Me you look, neither. You look good, and that's how I, I don't like, like I be when like, people. Oh, don't... This motherfucker dick riding. Okay. <laughs> now you gonna say dick riding? <laughs> okay. uh, but so like. When they keep doing it, it's just be like. Oh okay. no, nah, that that pissed me off. Right. Like, okay, thank you. Shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> but um, that was. Well, I end the I end the podcast with a quote. I'm gonna end the podcast with every quote, and this is the first time I'm gonna let them bitches know too. Um, I end every podcast with a historical quote <laughs> that I feel the world need to hear right now in this moment. And if you're watching this video next month, January, February, March, December, 
I'm talking about the moment that you're watching it right now. So the quote states, keep a mug up on my face. I know they get the tea. Mm. I don't be fucked up by nothing because I be smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. It's Big cool love. to have a man, but that ain't something I needed, sweetie. If you want little buddy back, you got to tell me, please. please. Tell me, please. please. Money long. <laughs> yeah. Check. <laughs> oh, check. Pocketbook good. <laughs> check. I can't say that over here. Mama straight. Check. check. Pussy good. Check, check. Didn't I just say I can't say that? <laughs> 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 Let me hear the rap y'all motherfuckers up. Look, um, and she's right now on Feeling Blessing. That is the 21st member of Congress, Ms. Glorilla. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, and that concludes today's episode of the Glass Vault Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy interviewing my two guests. Um, Shout this podcast to your uncle, sister, Subscribe. cousin, brother, even your mother. And baby tell... Daddy. No, don't shout to your baby daddy because, you know, them <laughs> niggas be insecure. You okay. watching this nigga? Old time, you nigga gay. <laughs> okay. And tell them to tune in to one of the best podcasts known to mankind. Now, y'all um, tell the people where they can find y'all at. You can find me on Instagram at relevant.ty. My Instagram is therealdoll.season. The real dog dot season. All right, so I am your host D, and I'll see y'all next week. We out. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, that is it. Ooh. Damn, it sound different when I'm off. <laughs> yeah. I was yelling. I was yelling. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my god, that's so dope. Okay. Yo, I'm steady receiving these blessings. Working so hard, gotta dedicate life to the cause. It's no easy gesture. Living it up like I seen this shit all before. Ain't got time for stressing. I give it to God and I watch how my problems dissolve. It's nothing but blessings. Yeah.